Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Let's take a look at this return and escapement on a Smith Corona Sterling from this era. So, carriage return shouldn't be too noisy. Here we go. It's about normal. Space action shouldn't be as noisy as that one year you've got. So, return. And then when you hold the carriage return levers, of course, nothing. As long as that's smooth. Well, I'm not sure. Let's take a look under here. We'll look at this escapement and then we'll decide if it needs something else. So the escapement is this gizmo here. And it moves with the space bar or the type bar. What we want to look at first though is this piece right here. This black piece, backspace paw, comes all the way down here, runs all the way here. So let's hit the backspace and see that piece move. There we go. And that engages the star wheel and pulls it backwards. But if that isn't going, restoring back to its home position, and it's like right here, halfway, it will cause havoc in your, uh, it will start making more noise. See that? It's got to be out of the way there. So make sure that's out of the way of the star wheel here. And then we're going to look at the paws right here. See if I can get this thing flipped around about right. We're going to look at, in particular, this little rubber piece. Rubber on that side, rubber on that side. And I've got one of these in my hand. So... This is the way it's positioned in the machine. And when it returns, it wants it's got to be able to push. That spring should be connected here. But let's see. Let me lift that up real quick. Just for a get some giggles here. So when that star wheel spins around, it's, it's going to push this lever, this little piece out of the way. But if this piece of rubber right here is expanded, it's going to impede how far that, that moves. So we need to make sure this piece, and this piece is kind of warped, you can see it. It looks like it is impeding. That little piece of rubber is this little piece of rubber and it's held on by this little piece on the back with a little nut and it's changeable you have to pull this piece out to do it but that's not too hard either but you can also just take a razor blade and cut this piece of rubber off right here in fact I'm gonna just do that to this piece what the hell so if you get under here you can get that razor blade in here just cut this piece off. Let's get it off. Just like that. So now that piece will move back further. And when this returns, the star wheel will it pushes that piece. Let's see if I can get a grip here. So it pushes that piece every time, but if if that's too big right there, it will. Let me put something in here and impede it from moving. It will make a loud click, a louder click, because that little piece is sticking. So one way to you can test that is move this piece out of the way with a hook or something here with a heat push a hook I'm gonna move that paw as far as it goes I'm holding pressure on the carriage so I'm releasing the 
I'm holding this with my hand here, shoving it with my palm. And we're going to push the carriage back with my palm. But now I'm going to hold this piece out of as far as it goes that way. And it should clear. See that? That tooth clears that. And it doesn't make any click. It doesn't touch that. I release that and it clicks. So I'm thinking there's something. This piece is expanded, causing interference with that, causing the noise. In any case, you got to look at this piece and find out what's going on down here. And make sure the star wheel's in order. Make sure that backspace piece is out of not interfering with anything. You need to go look at that and see what's happening. It's got to be where the noise is coming from or else something else is much more serious.